Hey guys, get ready with me. Okay, it's like 7.30 right now. I set my alarm for 6 a.m. And I literally, I woke up at 7. I literally couldn't. Today's the first day of the blocks that rotate, so. I'm probably gonna be late, but it's fine. Actually, I don't think so. I still have like 30 minutes to get ready before I actually have to leave the house. So, I think I can make it. I'm actually so tired though because I went to bed like really late last night and I also have like a bio quiz today and I didn't study for it. And I have bio first block, but my friend just told me that apparently we have a grad breakfast first block, so I don't even know how I'm gonna take it. I should do like a bio teacher review. Just kidding, I'm kind of like scared of him. <laughs> like he's really nice, but like at the same time, he's also like, I don't know. He's really strict, so. Okay, I keep forgetting to use my like sunscreen thing, but it's supposed to be like 23 t um, this week, so it's gonna be hot. Cause it's been like under 20 all week it's been like that for months now and i don't think it's been over 20 in a long time okay i'm gonna be trying out my new concealer this is from merit and i hope it's my shade oh my gosh it's literally my exact um skin color okay i'm gonna blend with my beauty blender wait what i literally didn't even get this shade match i just grabbed whatever i thought would be like a good color Okay, this is so good. It's really like good for like, just light coverage. Also, okay, I've no I know I've talked about this like before in one of my videos, but I'm not even kidding. You guys need to stop with like the kitty fang dupes and like all the get ready with me videos. First of all, it's just like really rude and disrespectful to be calling anyone a dupe. And it's just not nice. And it's really annoying too because I didn't come up with any of this stuff. And people should just be able to do whatever they want. And, like, it's just so disrespectful. I'm like, who cares? Like, even if they did buy the stuff after me, like, I didn't come up with it. And, like, these products are all super popular. So, like, obviously they're going to buy it. It's trending. And, like, these videos and, like, everything I'm doing is really trending right now. So, it literally doesn't matter. And you guys just need to stop. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say about that situation. I know it's not going to stop, but... I just wanted to address it. I listen to this song like every single day. Okay, I just finished my lashes. I just have to clean up my eyelids. Bye, guys. Hi, guys. Um, I'm going to do a makeup routine because you guys all asked for it. So I'm actually going to show you guys the products and then how I use them. I'm just curling them. Then I take this mini eyelash curler and I do my ends. Okay, now I take my telescopic in black brown. And I like to start with the tips of my lashes now if your lashes look like this you did it right then these are the lashes okay then i'm just gonna take this mini isla mascara and just do the ends to make them a little darker okay now i take this moisturizer and i got a new drunk elephant drops but these are just the bronzing drops it just like exploded so so much just came out but i mix them together and i just put them all over my face and I put some on my eyelid and then on my neck too. Um, tonight I'm going on like a double date, so that's why I'm getting ready. We're going mini golfing and then um, we're going to go see a movie, so it should be really fun. Okay, for concealer, I'm using Red Beauty in the shade Light Medium. I just do like dots and then I like take this and just kind of put it on my chin. Then I kind of spread it out a little bit. So it looks like this and then I blend it up. Now that that's blended, I'm going to take this Milk um, Bronzing Stick in the shade Baked. I'm just going to put that everywhere. I really just put it on like the outside of my face. I just dyed my brows, so I'm hoping they're not too dark. But then I take the Makeup by Mario Bronzing Stick in the shade Medium. And I just do that on my cheek. Then I'm taking this Charlotte Tilbury's Contour Wand and using it as eyeshadow. i do my bottom lashes real quick. Now I'm using Benetint, and I pretty much put this everywhere. I'm literally obsessed with this. It's a problem. I also blend this with my hands because I feel like it blends better. Now I just put Laneige on my lips. 
Now we're doing refi on the brows. Brows are looking real dark, but it's fine. Okay, almost done. Our beauty highlight. I just put this right here, right here, below my nose. This is the shade Mesmerized. Then this is my new favorite product. It's the refi gloss highlight. I think they only have one shade, but it's Topaz. It's literally just so pretty. And I also kind of just put this everywhere. Okay, that's all. Bye, guys. I feel like in the past, like three months i've gotten a lot of new followers so let's do a get ready with me while i tell you some stuff about me so first my name is shania that's how you pronounce it shania like shania twain it's not shania it's not shanna it's shania i feel like i'm like just so you know my name is peyton it's not brooke it's not you it's peyton i guess that could be the next thing i really love dance moms um ever since i was in sixth grade was when i first started watching it and abby's ultimate dance competition too i used to dance with my sister and my best friend and my cousins and like everybody it was more studio dancing than like competition but we did do a couple competitions and then we also did hip-hop which blush color should I do? I've already done these two. Maybe I should try this one. It's just very vibrant and I don't know how that would look on my skin tone. I think I'm going to do this one. That could be the next thing. I'm very indecisive, but people say that it's because I'm a Libra, but um, I found out that I'm on famous birthdays. My birthday is October 1st. I literally start fall. Isn't that amazing? I will be famous and rich. Social media has always been like my favorite thing ever because when I first got my tablet, I got Musical.ly and ever since then i've just been enjoying it and i got my first tablet like nine years ago which is so crazy to think about i used to hate the idea of friends and friendships after one of my closest friends literally like just like stopped being my friend so i stopped like talking to people but i started again recently and i love it and i've made many many online friends love you all i have many different aesthetics when it comes to my outfits but i feel like the one that i want to stick with is like autumn and like fall and that kind of girl. I love interacting with my followers. I'm very much an extroverted introvert. My biggest fear is a home invasion or a very slow one. I have combo skin that's also acne prone. I used to have really bad like flaming up burning acne, but I've controlled it. If you wanna know anything else about me, just comment all your questions and have a great day. I love you so much, bye. Good morning everyone, get ready with me to go out for breakfast. My phone is currently on charge, so I'm having trouble balancing it, so I'm so sorry if the angle keeps changing. I've already done all of my skincare, so I'm just going to put on a tiny bit of concealer. We're going out to breakfast at Crepes, I think. Ava starts work at 9 o'clock, so I'm going to have to leave early. It's on 11 percent, so I just took it off charge because this phone falling was really annoying me. But I'm going to put on some bronzer now. I am so excited for the Summer Night Time Pretty Season 2. But I hate how they're not releasing all the episodes at once. Like, it makes sense that they aren't. But I really just want to sit down for a whole day and binge it. But I don't know if I should wait until all the seasons are released before I start watching it so then I can actually binge watch it like I want to. Or if I should just watch them now and deal with one episode getting released at a time. Hmm, the bronze is kind of looking crazy today. Normally it's a blush. That's okay. We'll fix it up later. It's honestly not that bad. I'm just going to leave it because I can't bother fixing it up. And blush, I'm just going to skip because that's a lot of effort. And now I'm just going to move into lashes. I don't know if I told you guys where we're going out for breakfast yet. But I think we're going to crepes at Kimra Westfield because Ava has work and that's at Kimra. I actually forgot to tell Ava that we're going out for breakfast this morning. So she slept in and woke up late. So that was kind of my fault. But, but that's okay. She's up now and getting ready. So hopefully she's not late to work. Guys, if you don't curl your lashes, you seriously should, like, look at the difference. It looks like I've done my lashes already and I haven't even added mascara yet. A little story time for you guys. I used to heat up my eyelash curler with a hair dryer or even, like, an like a hair straightening iron. It was not good for my lashes. My lashes started to fall out and get burnt. It was like I had split ends in my lashes instead of my hair. It was horrible. If you guys are doing that right now, stop because it is not good for your lashes in the long term. I bought Lash Shape Australia this brand here and it changed my lashes they grew back thankfully but yes be careful guys if you're heating up your eyelash color i got a tiny bit on my eyelid of course so i'm just going to clean that up lashes aren't looking the best but that's okay we're only going out for breakfast so i'm just going to add some of my summer fridays lip balm i'm soon running out of this literally tastes like chocolate i love it it's the um, what flavor is it vanilla beige is that it I'm not sure, but it's a brown one, and it tastes like chocolate, and I love it. But that was my get ready with me. Bye, everyone. Hope you have an amazing day.